Hey, I wasn't even going to go live, okay? I wasn't even going to go live. I'm trying to post this recipe for this, um... I just posted a recipe for um, the keto mac and cheese at DariusCooks.tv. I'm just trying to get it live. That's really what I was doing. I wouldn't even go go live. I said, what am I do? And here I am. Okay, live. Ain't that something? You know what? Because you know I had took me a little nap and then I had got up I started doing laundry. I was starting to clean up the um, the kitchen needed to be cleaned up. I just was doing stuff. You know what I'm saying? And so I was like, plus I'm doing intermittent fasting. So I was like, okay, so the keto mac and cheese recipe is now posted at DariusCooks.tv. FYI, if you're looking for it. And so is the video. The video's posted at, um, so here's the keto mac and cheese recipe is posted at dariuscooks.tv and then there's also what's going on what's going on what's happening here there's a video the computer want to show out because y'all here C computer was working fine all day the minute i turn the computer around and show y'all the computer want to show out ain't that something um, okay, so you always ask where the recipes right here, DariusCooks.tv. Um, I know I'm a little late on posting stuff, but you know what? Better late than never. That's what the Bible say, okay? DariusCooks.tv, and then somewhere down here, there you go. So this is the actual video. You can get this. Oh, you know what? I think it's still rendering. What's what's going on with the video? What's going on with YouTube? Oh, you know what? I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. YouTube, fix yourself, okay? All right, let's do something. I I, did, I wasn't even going to go live, but I said, you know what? Let me go and go live because I got this crab that I need to cook. And I was trying to clean out my refrigerator. You know, I've been traveling and stuff, so you know how it is when you travel. And then when you find it back, it be stuff everywhere. You ain't cleaned up nothing. It's just, you know, you're just trying to get your life right. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm doing. Just trying to get my life right. And I was doing that in, you know, at home with the music and minding my own business. Okay, I'm gonna put the oven on convection. I'm gonna put it up to about 400. All right, we'll put the oven to convection somewhere around 400. And um, I even had Instacart, let me clean y'all off, sorry. I even had Instacart bring me some groceries because I was gonna cook. I gotta make videos, we're doing videos tomorrow. So I'll show you what I got. That's all keto stuff. We'll we'll go from there, all right? So this is, uh, what is this? Catfish. I figured I would do tomorrow, um, this won't be live, it'll be a video. A video. Some catfish, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with the catfish. Oh, maybe like a garlic cream situation. With the catfish, that's what I said I was gonna do. Um, the biggest scallions known to man. Okay, these are scallions, but these are huge scallions. So we're gonna use some of these for tonight for um, for our uh, crab cakes. I've got some asparagus, um, cause we'll be using that for something. Okay, don't ask me what. Uh, let's see, I've got cauliflower because all right, you know we use that on everything. Uh, let's see what else I got in here. Some fresh herbs. So this is cilantro. I love that. I put cilantro in everything. Uh, I had to buy some more spinach so we could do this like garlic, creamy garlic spinach situation. Y'all, I really was like, I'm not gonna go live. I got, I got the dishwasher going. I got the laundry going. You know, the puniest leak ever. This look pretty leak. This is, um, oh, these are green beans. We can make some of these tonight, probably. Huh? We can saute these green beans. We can saute the green beans. Oh, I got some zucchini, too. We can do that. What y'all want to do, zucchini or green beans? I got some pork rinds, because keto. Thank you. 
And I picked up, these are all, this is all for tomorrow for videos. Just some cauliflower, some rice cauliflower for a couple things. Some chicken uh, tenders. I, Cause I haven't done much chicken lately. So I figured I'll give you some chicken stuff tomorrow with videos. We're gonna record these for YouTube, for the YouTube. Are you guys subscribed to my YouTube channel? I hope so. And then this is uh, chicken thighs. So I figured we use that. So tomorrow we got chicken thighs, chicken tenders, and catfish. So those videos we'll, we'll do. And at the rate we go, at the rate we go, the videos, it take a while for them to come up, all right? So I just posted <laughs> today on YouTube, um, I just posted a call, I just did it just now, was the cauliflower mac and cheese, I just posted it. Um, we recorded that video a month and a half ago, okay? So it's taken about six weeks, but we have so many videos in the queue, like I have so many videos for you. So make sure you're on the YouTube channel, you subscribe, uh, just type in Darius Cooks on YouTube, and then I'll pop up. Let me get a garbage bag, y'all, hold on. And then um, I'll pop up and then we'll be good to go. I'll pop up and then we'll be good. All right, so I picked up some more crab just because I didn't think I had enough from the other day. And you know, you can't leave that crab sitting out too long. So once you open up that crab, you want to go and use it real good. So I have this container, does this smell good? And this container, we'll add it together. This is lump crab. Listen, you could use the jumbo lump stuff if you want to, if you want to. This is just a uh, regular lump. It still has giraffe vagina, okay? It's still expensive, but at least it's not as expensive as the premium lump. Now you could use the premium lump if you want to, or we can go and use this, okay? But what we should do, we should probably get our vegetables on. How much y'all think? What we gonna do? We said we gonna do zucchini. Let me get this, this thing clean. Hold on. I told you I ain't got nothing ready. I wasn't even supposed to go live. I was over here soaking dishes and doing stuff. I wasn't even gonna go live. You know how it is. I can't be the only one. I can't be the only one. You know how you be, you soak the dishes and then you, you just get ready to sweep the flow. You know, you just be doing stuff around the house. Um, and I said, well, you know what? Let me go and go live. I got I got like, like about an hour before my, my eating window closes. So, cause I'm doing an intermittent fasting. We should probably do zucchini. What y'all think? We should do some zucchini. Cause I got some of that, I got extra of that left over. And if we're gonna do the zucchini, we're gonna also do it with a little bacon. What y'all think? How that sounds? Zucchini with bacon sound all right? Sound delicious to me, to be honest with you. If we're gonna do the zucchini, we're also gonna do it with a little bacon. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take us a couple slices of bacon and get this, because we should saute the zucchini in the bacon fat, huh? What y'all, huh, what you say? I think we ought to, and I guess we ought to make a cocktail. I told you I had no intentions on going live, okay? But I figured since I'm here, we might as well do a little something. What I got, I got, we could, we could do like a lemon drop, huh? Let me see, like a lemon drop martini or something? Or can we do a key lime pie martini? Can we do key lime? I got lime juice, vodka, vanilla. Maybe we can do key lime. We'll call it key lime, but it ain't really key lime. Okay, put the bacon in the pan. This way the bacon can start to cook, okay? What are we gonna do? Let's do, let's do a little piece of uh, key lime martini. What y'all think? Key lime, how that sound? Sound all right? Okay, give me a second. Let me get the um. Talk, you know I don't got nothing ready. 
I don't have nothing ready. Hold on. Let me get the uh, the shaker, the cocktail shaker together. business you know what I'm saying okay let's get some let me go get some vodka y'all hold the line let me get some vodka I mean, we got to do it right, okay? So, <laughs> don't do it right. Okay? Let me get some lime juice from somewhere. I don't even know where it's at. I got it. <laughs> Let me tell you one thing I don't like. You know, I see the comments. I don't speak much on the comments. I see the comments. One thing I don't like is people be like, this ain't keto, that's not keto. This ain't keto, that's not keto. Let me tell you one thing. You around here looking like two tons of fun, okay? On my live Periscope telling me what's keto and what's not for mine, would you? Okay? Mind your own macros. I don't go to your live bothering you about what you put in your mouth, okay? Some of the stuff you done laid next to last night ain't keto and woke up with it on your breath this morning. That ain't keto, okay? Please do me a favor. Mind your keto-ass business and leave mine alone. Would you do that for me, please? Let us please govern ourselves accordingly, okay? All right. And for those of you who are concerned about the bacon, I'm 37 years old. I've been cooking damn near 20 some years. The one thing I know how to do good is cook bacon, all right? All right? If I can't do nothing else, I ain't go burn the bacon, all right? All right, in your cocktail, can we continue? Let's go. All right, in your cocktail shaker, let's get some ice, okay? Tons of fun always got something to say, don't they? Okay, come on. We're gonna put some vodka in here. This is Tito's. Now, Tito's will get you where you gotta go real quick. All right? Tito's will get you exactly where you have to go very, very, very fast. Okay? We're gonna do a little bit of lime juice. Because this is a key lime. Okay? And this is a little tart by itself. It's a little tart. So, you know, um, there are different types of keto. Some people do clean keto, dirty keto, lazy keto. It don't really matter. Ain't no carbohydrates in sucralose, okay? None. Not am one, okay? So you can put your sucralose in there. There's no calories, all right? You have more chances catching something. Do, doing something you ain't got no business doing, then, you know, all right? All right, come on, we're going to put a drop of vanilla. Just a drop is all you need. And let me put a little bit of water in here to thin it out a little bit. Because it's kind of concentrated, so we good. I'm going to put a little water in here. You know, sometimes you just have to let God use you sometimes, you know. Sometimes. Okay, we put a little water in here. The water is good because um, if you think about it, there is uh, lime juice with the uh, sucralose. That's, that's a little concentrated, you know what I'm saying? So you're gonna get real good flavor. You're just gonna thin it out a little bit, all right? Now the key to a good, we always, I always tell you this. The key to a really good martini is you wanna shake it about 30 seconds. Okay, about 30 seconds. 
That's the key to a really, really good martini. So we put a little drop of, this is Mexican vanilla from Mexico, okay? A little bit of pure lime juice. This is organic. You can use the fresh squeeze if you want to. This is as good as it's gonna get. A little sweetener, a little vodka. All right, and you got yourself a key lime pie martini, okay? That's what we got, key lime martini right in here. All right, let's give that a little taste and see what it tastes like. I swear to God, it tastes just like a key lime pie. It tastes just like key lime pie. I'm not lying to you. It tastes like key lime pie. All right. A little something we do around here. Um, at this moment, we're going to ask all of our visitors to please stand. This is your first, your second, or third time visiting with us. Uh, we ask that you please stand at this moment. All visitors, please stand. At this moment, if, you, if you've if you been here a couple times, please welcome all of our new people who are standing. At this time, our impact agents are gonna come down the aisle and hand you a card. Um, Please do me a favor and fill that card out. And when you go around for offering, you can take that card and put that card in the offering basket so that we can stay in contact with you. Um, on behalf of the um, Keto International uh, Church of No Carb in Christ, we'd like to take this moment and welcome you to our nightly service. Here's our song. Keto is on the main line, telling you what you want. Oh, Keto is on the main line, telling you what you want. Keto is on, it's on the main line, telling you what you want. You just call it up and tell it what you want. You may be seated. You may be seated. You ought to feel welcome. Okay. This ain't gonna take too much long, too much longer. This is gonna be real quick tonight, okay? Let me let me rinse off this uh what's this? Zucchini. And we're gonna we're gonna drop the zucchini in. You feel welcome? You oughta. Okay, you oughta feel very welcome into our service. All right, you oughta feel very very welcome. Okay, I like zucchini any kind of way you give it to me. I like zucchini raw. I like zucchini cooked. I like zucchini in a cheese sauce. I just like zucchini, period. I do. So I'm just gonna cube this up, like dice it, you know what I mean? Just cause that's what I like to do. You can cook this in discs. You cook your zucchini however you feel you need to cook your zucchini, okay? And I'm gonna cook mine like this. Okay, now behind me on the stove, was some bacon, okay? See, I cut the bacon down. Y'all thought I was gonna burn the bacon. What I was doing was releasing the oil out of the bacon by cooking it on sort of a medium low heat, okay? That's really what I was doing, was cooking the bacon on a medium low heat, so we call that rendering, okay? I was rendering the fat out of the bacon, okay? So now, right into here, I'm gonna go and add in 
this zucchini, and I'm gonna cut this up a little bit. Oh, put a little oil on here. Put a little oil. Okay, like that. Okay, and then put this on the stove. Let this go. Okay, we cut that up some. See, so look. You do like that, you see, and you get it all tossed around. So you think you're doing something. Look at the flick of that wrist, huh? Okay. We need a little onion content in the zucchini. If you want to use regular onion, use regular onion. Don't let me stop you. Please. I'm going to use the green onion for the keto police get me. Okay, it's a scallion. Okay, this is a scallion. Let me go rinse this off. All right. I'm going to throw the scallion in with the... Um, Zucchini and let it cook. Alright? So the scallions sort of caramelize a little bit. You know what I mean? Alright, come on, let's make this uh um, look at this. Already this looks good. Look at that. Already. I ain't seasoned it yet. Okay. Now let's make these crab cakes. Y'all ready? Kelly, are you ready? Michelle. Okay, here go a bowl. Now, what was so funny to me was the other day, I posted something online. And the guy was like, but where do you find um, avocado mayonnaise? I mean, no, he was like, how do you make avocado mayonnaise? I'm like, you don't, you buy it, okay? So this is just regular mayonnaise. It's an avocado mayo. I'm gonna put the slightest little pinch of Dijon mustard in with this mayonnaise, okay? I mean the slightest pinch. Okay. One thing I need that I don't have, I don't think I got none, and I'm not even finna stress about it. No, I ain't got none. Is you wanna put you a little piece of Old Bay. I ain't got none, I don't know where it's at, so I'm gonna use a little piece of cake. Hold on, this is gonna make me sneeze. I'm gonna put a little piece of Cajun seasoning in here. I don't know where the Old Bay is. I thought I had some. <coughs> I don't. Okay. It's all right, okay? Don't trip if you don't have none, okay? Excuse me, I knew I was gonna make me sneeze. Okay, I'm gonna dice up, uh, mince up a little bit of this um, green onion in here. This ain't really traditional Maryland style. They, I don't think Maryland, people in Maryland who watching me, shout out to the DMV. Check the cabinet by the stove. It's too late now, Sean. Let me see. No, I don't have none. It's all right. Shout out to the DMV. If you're the DMV, please do not inbox me talking about that's not how we do our crab cakes in Maryland. Because if you're in the DMV, that's about all you got going for yourself in terms of good food is a crab cake. And maybe a, a blue crab here and there. Okay. All right. Please do not inbox me talking about this. Is not that's not traditional. I know it's not, but it's the way I want to eat my crab cakes. Okay. You know how y'all be in DMV. I was in I was in DC 
DC ain't got nothing good but my buddy Chef JR restaurant in Lanham. And um What's that place with the tacos? What's that place y'all got? Um What is that place? L'Oreal Plaza. Okay? L'Oreal Plaza. And DC do not even have good mumbo sauce. Mumbo sauce is a watered down version. Mumbo sauce is a, is a watered down version of uh, mild sauce. Okay? Shout out to Chicago, 773. That's what that is, okay? Mild sauce from Chicago. All right, we're going to put in here a little piece of pepper. Watch the comments go crazy. Watch the comments go crazy. What you mean? Here they do. Listen, I said what I said. Okay, I said what I said. I'm going to put a little piece of dry parsley in here. Okay, so as you can see, the key is I'm mixing up everything before I add in the crab because I don't want to really mess up the crab a whole whole lot not to over mix the thing about a good crab cake that make it real good is you got to let it sit you know you got to let it sit only problem is we ain't got that kind of time we ain't got that kind of time you see the more you let this sit it's going it's going to mix together so what I'm going to do is not burn out the zucchini. Shame. Look. Look at that. Ooh. 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 See ya? Okay. The key is to let this sit up real good after you form it. But we ain't got that kind of time. I don't have that kind of time. So, so hold on. I'm gonna go and put this in this cast iron skillet like this. I don't have that kind of time, okay? I really don't. This is a, a low budget show. So this is what we're gonna do. Okay? Put your little oil down there. Or you could use butter. Don't really matter to me, I don't really care. If you had time, you form these crab cakes first, you see. Put them in the refrigerator for a good hour. Let them sit up on you. Okay, let them sit up on you. And then you form the cakes. I ain't really got time, you see? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and do this like this, okay? They're gonna be a little juicy, but that's all right. And you put them like that, okay? So that's one crab cake. And this is pure crab. There's no filler in any of this, okay? This is two crab cakes. I don't know how many we're gonna get. Probably gonna get four. Four juicy crab cakes. And this is good. This is very keto. Thank you. Very keto. If this was my grandmother, this would be something. No, I don't put any breading in here. Okay, it's keto. Keto is no breading. Okay, if this was my grandmother, this would be salmon. Look at that. See that? All right. Into the oven it goes. Oven is up high, 400 degrees. This is already cooked, okay? It's already cooked. You ain't really gotta cook it again. You just wanna heat it through and let it come together real good, okay? That's what you wanna do. Heat it through and let it come together real good. Okay, let's do a little bit of a recap for all the people who was late to service. Let me just welcome you guys to the uh, Keto International 
Church of No Carbon Christ Ministries. I'm so happy y'all here with us tonight. Uh, I'm so happy you're here. We're live right now on several platforms. I'm live on Instagram. What's up, Instagram? Periscope. My Facebook regular page. YouTube. And I'm live on my Facebook fan page. What's up? How y'all doing? I wasn't going to go live tonight. So now that I am, here we are. Uh, what we did first was I got some zucchini. I just had leftover zucchini hanging out in the refrigerator. I just diced it up. Okay. Cooked it with green onion and bacon. And we finna go put some Hennessy in it. And a little butter. Okay. We finna put some Hennessy in it and a little butter. It's the equivalent of putting like white wine and stuff. A little Hennessy. Okay. Uh, now. This is a key lime pie cocktail. Martini. Can I fix you a quick martini? As a matter of fact, I need another one. Let's get some ice. We put a little piece of water in here. All right, and these are the ingredientes. First ingredient is vodka. A shot or two, this is Tito's. We're gonna put a shot or two of, this is that organic lime juice. I keep this, I keep this in my refrigerator. Cause you put lime juice in everything, you know what I mean? A, a little pinch of, uh, you know, a keto approved sweetener of your choice, a couple of drops of Sucra drops, Amazon, and a little pinch of vanilla extract, okay? Pure vanilla. Hold on one second, because um, in order for me to um, make, I gotta make room for this one. Hold on one second, give me one second, please. Hold the line. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I always tell you the key to a good martini communion I know it was the blood for me for me yourself a favor and make this okay do yourself a favor and make that okay let's go on sauce let's go on sauce up this zucchini because up until this point, we haven't seasoned it. The zucchini is just cooking in bacon fat with scallions. Hennessy is keto, okay? Hennessy is keto, all right? You drop a little piece of Hennessy in there. And we're gonna drop a little piece of butter. What are we doing? We're deglazing the pan. We're picking up all those little bits on the bottom of the pan. All that bacon that's caramelized and cooked down. That's what we're picking up on the bottom of this pan. Okay? 
I'm gonna put some butter. Let me grab some seasonings. Y'all hold the line real fast. Hold the line, please. Hold the line, everybody. Hold the line. Hold the line, everybody. Hold the line. Hold the line, everybody. Hold the line. 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 I got it. All right. Now, we ain't seasoned this worth nothing. This don't taste that good yet. Okay? All right. Your, your, your Hennessy gonna cook out. Don't worry about that. You're making a little bit of a sauce in the bottom of the pan. Okay? We're gonna put a little piece of salt, not a lot. Salt is gonna bring out the other flavors that you're cooking with. This is Portugal sea salt. Okay? Hold on, I don't wanna burn these. Um, I don't wanna burn these young um, crab cakes live for y'all. Y'all. <laughs> Y'all talk about me. Hold on. I don't want to hear. Hold on one second, y'all. I can hear now. I knew he didn't know what he was doing. I can hear it now. I knew he didn't know. Okay. Little piece of salt. This is basil, okay? Dry basil. Basil and, if you don't know, basil and Hennessy go really well together, okay? This is a little pinch of coriander. I know, coriander is lemony, okay? So think about lemony, um, delicious, okay? A little pinch of ground fennel. Okay, this is a little pinch of white pepper ground white pepper. This smells so good in here. This smells amazing. And a little piece of red pepper flake because I like a little heat. Okay, let's stir this up. And then go back on the stove. This is the bougiest, this is the bougiest, um, you know, what I'm making. Oh, Baca done got to me, Doc. Hold on. This is the bougiest zucchini you ever had in your life, huh? Did I ever tell you that you were my hero? You're everything I hope to be. I can fly higher than an eagle. You are the wind beneath my wings. Okay, let's make a little sauce. Let me go rinse this off. Hold on. I smell the crab cakes. Hold on, I don't want to burn them. I smell them. Yet. Okay. We're gonna make a little sauce for the crab cakes. A little Dijon mustard. Whoa. Okay, these is done. There's a key done. We cut them off. Put them on low. A little piece of mayonnaise. A little, you know, a little something to put on top. Hold on. Crabs are a abominable food, bro. You have to use the word, you have to use an, a n. You can't use a and then start the next word with a um with a vowel. Um, I don't make the rules. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh, almost. Hold on, YouTube got me frozen. YouTube, y'all still there or y'all gone? It got me like it got me frozen. It's a little piece of lemon juice. Oh, y'all there? All right. A little piece of uh, Cajun. And I got a little piece of, little piece of dry deal. That's it. It's just a little something to put on. Oh, we should put a little piece of olive oil in here. Hold on. Right here. I got it. Don't worry. Y'all still here? It's like it's frozen on my side. But if you say you here, I'm going to take your word for it. Okay, this is it. This is like a little finishing sauce. Cause I feel like the crab cakes will be good and juicy. But we just need a little something. You know what I mean? To drag through. I want these crab cakes to burn, hold on. Oh, oh, I smell it. Woo, look at this. Oh. 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 Okay. Look at that. I want them to burn. I want them to burn. I can fly higher than an eagle. Huh? What y'all saying? I ain't here. Who finna eat good? Me. Me. Okay, this is our little crab cake sauce. I'm gonna put it right here. In this little bowl right here. It's just a little, a little remuli. A little dill lemon remuli situation. You know, just so we could drag through the sauce. That's it. I mean, we can drag through the crab cakes. That's it. That's all you need is a little something. You don't need that much. Okay, look. And this white Hennessy and bacon, this white Hennessy and bacon um, zucchini is done too. What you say? I do my best cooking when I'm intoxicated, it seems like. All right. And you are the wind beneath my wings. Let's taste it. Now this probably gonna fall apart, but that's all right. You know what a crab cake pulls a little like. Cause the thing is, I didn't really, I didn't let it set up properly, you know? So it's gonna fall apart on me a little bit. Oh, it's, it kind of stayed together. Let's, mm, let's stay together. I don't own the rights to that song, Facebook, Periscope. Loving you weather, weather. Times are good or bad. I'm about to eat these crab cakes in front of everybody on social media. And no, they can't have none. Uh, I'm about to eat this food and see what it tastes like. This is my little sauce, my little dill lemon situation. All right. Everybody bow your heads. Let's say Grace. Grace. All right, here we go. This is keto crab cakes with a little white Hennessy bacon zucchini. Leave it up to me to put white Hennessy and with the
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Make sure y'all join our Facebook group, Keto But With Soul, on Facebook. Mm. Mm. Listen, the green onion in here is so important, okay? The green onion is how important because it adds a certain je ne sais quoi to situation. Let me tell you something. Tito's will get you there. Okay? Let me tell you something. Tito's take care of you though. Okay, come on, crab cake. Come on, crab cake. No filler. Broiled crab cakes. Cry. I want to cry. And you see the smoke coming up? I want to cry. And how good is it? The crab cakes have a natural sweetness from the crab. You don't have to break the bank for a good crab, you know? $16 a pound. That's it. The key is, I want you to season that crab base, that mayonnaise mix. Okay? Season the mayonnaise mix. And I know this is not Maryland. When you put the, when you put the, um, what I put in here? Green onion. But do it. It's so good. Give it a try. Give it a try. Okay? Listen, people. I love you. You know I do. Make sure you join my Facebook group A keto but with so the new recipe is already there for keto mac and cheese two things I want to tell you as I always do food is my life life is my food until next time I want to wish you happy keto cooking from my heart to yours. Bye, y'all. Love you. I just did. Oh, yeah, I'm going to Instagram.